Pat, you know, our uh, president of Signal 65, our, our, you know, our, one of the two babies that we've had together. Um, that's, <laughs> we're just kidding, people. Don't we ever talked me. about the third? So, by the way, we've got 65 Media, we have Signal 65 Labs, and we have Signal 65 Economics. Yeah. Yep. 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 Two babies. One has already had its own baby. Um, but the the bottom line is, is that, you know, Ryan Shrout, Signal 65 president was out uh, at a Best Buy taking pictures, checking out the checking out the store displays. But the Copilot Plus PCs were front and center in Best Buys around America this week. And what I heard, Pat, was the, you know, the early data, the whispers are volume was good. There was a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of excitement. You know, we may have bought a few hundred of them at uh, at the Signal 65 for our labs, but uh, strong demand, strong display, strong interest. You know, you saw Satya tweeting about it and Pavan tweeting about it. You saw Cristiano Oman tweeting about it. And this is that first wave. Now, of course, like I said, there's, you know, the debates about Intel and Meteor Lake and it being an AI PC, but this is the Copilot Plus PC, the certified edition. This was the moment it came into market, Pat. Big thing. There's been kind of three waves of announcements here. So I'm kind of, you know, it was it was important, but tempered in that way, because like we had the Microsoft build moment and then we had the Computex moment. And then now we had the actual go live moment. I always kind of joke, Pat, that like when you would acquire a company and I've done a little bit of that over the last few years. You only get to announce it once. So you either announce the deal as struck or you announce the deal as closed, but you can't really announce both. But this is such an exciting moment. They've actually managed to announce it three times. And so we are in a new era. This is, by the way, when Pat and I have been talking about the consume consumption layer, this is one of those key consumption layers, not just selling the PCs, but what people are going to do with these LLMs on devices, the apps they're going to be able to, to, to buy, whether it's Adobe subscriptions that are going to work better, whether it's, you know, enterprise tools, whether it's improving our social media or video consumption experiences. Um, you know, this is where money gets made in those second, third and fourth layers of AI beyond the core infrastructure that NVIDIA is creating. So this is a really cool moment. So we're going to get a wave of revenue streams for companies that are one and two tiers removed. The OEMs, the ODMs, the builders, the, the creators of PCs and devices. And now we're going to start to see the ISVs and the app builders for both consumers and enterprises and small businesses starting to be able to capitalize on more AI compute power sitting on the device. So it's not all in the data center. And so a big moment, Pat. It's, it's exciting. I look forward to kind of seeing the, the numbers beyond the kind of first day to see, you know, because this is also, Pat, the difference of is this a Vision Pro Plus, Vision Pro moment? Got two minutes, buddy. Vision Pro moment, or yeah. is it, I'm on the way out, this is, I'm turning it over to you, or is this the beginning of a wave of really big numbers? I think it's the latter. Yeah, I got to tell you, I'm going to read a, a text that I got from an unnamed source uh, related to uh, Surface sales. Some retail saying it's their biggest PC pre-order ever, higher than any Mac release ever. Um, so, yeah, there, there are some definitely some volumes here. Uh, so, seven folks shipped you had you had uh microsoft with surface asus dell hp lenovo acer samsung shame on you asus for breaking the the uh embargo and shipping your units out earlier than you were supposed to uh, i'm glad to say that um you know the the early reviews are looking great first of all let's pat our, let's pat ryan in the back uh review tests are showing how accurate the signal 65 testing was uh, and you're seeing a 50, 50 to 60 percent multi-threaded CPU advantage over Apple. Uh, it sure, lowers in single core. I don't. I'm sure there's some value in single core, but but not a ton. The ridiculous battery life. It's ridiculous. Like 25 hours. Uh, some people just you know leaving it at home. And I know we've heard that every single year for the past 10 years, but it's true this time. Software compatibility, I need to do a double click on that. There were some, you know, you knew any driver related stuff like some outdated Kaspersky, which by the way is being banned here in North America. Um, but uh, uh, stuff like games. You I just know, I spoke with him. I, I was on stage with Kaspersky right after at CBIT. Interesting. I, I just thought that was cool. I mean, I don't know if you- Yeah, what? No, for sure. So uh, final uh, final comments here. Sorry, Dan, just trying to work this in before my next meeting. Uh, kudos to Qualcomm and Microsoft. Herculean effort 
three to three to four years you have to place these bets but 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 you stuck the landing now i am selfishly disappointed by recall being pulled back um i'm not convinced it's insecure i feel like the company overreacted get it into windows insider now